Joe, on your website, you state that you invested about two million pounds in 2019. Um, pretty much all of that was in what we can see here behind us, wasn't it? The blue machines, the, yeah. The blue machines. What's it done to change your company and why did you do it? It was really the unman running. Um, we do an awful lot of either production work or you know 20 offs, 10 offs, regular work. Um, we had a uh, 104 pallet system in before with six machines. It was getting old. We looked at the Matsuras, completely new to them, and we bought one. And very quickly, we bought another three. Well, I suppose the, the change meant you had a lot more spindles as well as the automation, didn't it? Would that be right? The, the biggest thing was having the individual machines with the pallet pulls and rationalizing the tooling. We, we had over a thousand tools before. I think it was something like 1,500 tools in use. And now we've rationalized that right down to less than a thousand. And was this your first um, investment in Matsura's technology? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe tell me about the machines that you've actually got here then. The actual, the, the spec of them, five axis, how many pallets? Yeah, well we've got three 32s. Uh, it's the MAM 7235, keep on uh, forgetting it. They're 32 pallet. Um, the components that we run on three of the machines, we're filling the whole envelope up. They are five axis. They run literally 24 seven. I think the last productivity uh, report that we had from Matsura, from their, their software, it was running at about 97%, uh, and that's 24 seven. And we got the bigger machine, which is the 63V, which is 18 pallets. Okay, now the, one of the fascinating things you told me earlier was um, you had an aerospace project which you would was partially the reason behind all the investment. Absolutely. And then COVID hit and suddenly it was like, what are we going to do now? <laughs> the machines are here. <laughs> it was almost panic stations, to be honest with you. We made a huge investment up front. The aerospace depleted overnight. And then fortunately, the medical said, right, okay, I want four or five times the amount. So we then transferred an awful lot of the, the medical work onto the Matsuras. And within a couple of days, we were, we were producing. Was that how you also established how flexible these cells could be because they are like vending machines aren't they you know you can change the parts and they churn the work out regardless of the the material whatever it might be these machines will just run and run they do i mean they're, they're, they're monsters really they literally just churn out the work the other big benefit that we get from these machines is the fixturing because they're tiny little pallets you can make the part the, the fixtures yourself Whereas beforehand, we could spend 20, 30,000 pound on a horizontal to get it all fixed up correctly. These things we can, we can fix up almost ourselves. So what's the biggest change you've seen now? Now 18 months on and, and we've, we're coming out of the pandemic now. What have these machines done for you? What's the result? I think certainly the last 18 months, we've probably gone through about five years worth of learning curve. So we, we're, we're looking to invest more. Uh, we want to expand on it. We know how to run them. We know all the quirks with them, not many. Um, so it's kind of like cemented our, our uh, foundation with that And have you seen the fact that the parts come off reliably and accurately every time, different to maybe uh, potentially other areas of the shop maybe, or, or how you were doing it before because of the consistency that the machines offer? I mean, some of the operations that we're doing on horizontals, verticals, turning and so forth. Moving parts around. Moving parts around, the work in progress, the inspection, the stop start, you know, it's all going to flow. But since we put a number of parts onto the Matsuras, our scrap rate on, on certain critical parts have gone from about 3.5% to less than half a percent. And, really? and that's down to operator. Okay. That's not down to the machine. There's two things on buying a machine. There's the machine itself, which clearly um, you're very happy with. What about Matsura? They're great, you know, uh, if I need something, they're here, I know the team, uh, the MD's been here a couple of times, um, the support's fantastic.